What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Vance, and I'm back doing another reaction video. And today, we're gonna be doing another reaction video on Young Don the Sauce God. This is gonna be part two of the actual uh, video that I did a couple of videos ago, I think. So it's gonna be the Friend I Betrayed animated story part two. If you wanna go check part one, I'll have it somewhere in the link description or. Yeah, I'll have it somewhere in the link of the description or I'll have it at the end of the video if you want to uh, watch it after this video But I recommend that you watch the part one of course because it's part one and then part two. So yeah But hey, we're gonna get straight to this video. Um If you guys enjoy the video as always, please make sure to leave a like comment down below subscribe if you're new to the channel so I ain't gonna waste all time. Oh, and also ring the notification bell you guys so you can get notifications on whenever I Upload a video. They're gonna be lit. They're gonna be bangers coming on the way soon. It's actually spring break for me right now, you guys. So I should be cranking out some uh, some more uploads. So yeah, spring break. Then I should go back to school. Then you know go to summer. Summer break. The grind ain't gonna stop then. So I'm gonna have more free time on my hands. So yeah, let's get straight to the video. All right. Because Jane was my friend's ex-girlfriend. Oh, you started with somebody else's reaction. What? Was an ex from high school, and he had just graduated college. What? Are you saying that the friend actually said that you can go and date my ex-girlfriend from a high school? Yeah, that don't make sense. He allowed this? <laughs> that don't make sense. Yo, yo, don't, yo, your friend needs to get cut off real quick. Oh my god. And today's video is sponsored by the mobile app Monster Legends. So here's what's up. In Monster Legends, you can collect hundreds of different monsters, which evolve and get stronger as you feed them. You can fight in epic multiplayer battles in live unique adventures, search dungeons, and secure the bag in the form of in-game rewards. Download it with your friends, create a team, and move as a squad. And then you and your team can fight in leagues and wash other teams in battles and wars. You know, real mob mentality. <laughs> and you can now participate in friendly battles where you can call out someone else on your team and see if they want to pull up and get that smoke. Now for this sponsorship, they actually set me up with an account and had me fight this other huge YouTuber named Arcade Cloud. And best believe your boy washed it. And he's a cool guy, you know, it's no hard feelings. I just had to do it one time for the one time. You feel me? So go check it out. Download the game today. It's one of the best ways you can support me, the Saw Squad, and the Secret Saw Society. Use my link in the description. Alright, let's get it. So, I had gotten a lot of comments like that from my last video. Yo, Don, he gave the green light. You Gucci, bro. I don't get what the problem is. And, look, I get it. I thought I was Gucci, too. You know, I'm not a slimy Well, regardless of what anybody wanted to say, I see now why it was hooked up. But for you to see that, you need to see my history. You gotta understand my background a little bit more clearly. So check this, right? So after I graduated from high school in Florida, I had a decision to make. Either I was gonna go to any of the several universities that I got accepted to, or I was gonna risk it all and go to a community college in California where I would pursue my dream of one day making it to the NBA. You see, out of high school, I was scouted by a few Division II, but mostly Division III colleges. And it was clear to me that if I was gonna make it to the league, I needed to go D1. Well, one of the only ways you can do that if you aren't scouted directly out of high school is to go to a junior college. You play your heart out for a couple years, and then if you're good enough, you stand a chance of being picked up by D1 University. So that's what I chose to do. Now, as most of you know, I have Caribbean parents. And anyone who knows anything oh about Caribbean parents knows that all they want is for their kids to be successful. Immigrant parents in general are like that. Doesn't matter if you're from South Africa, Australia, Jamaica, Trinidad, even if you're from a place like the UK, Canada, or the United States of America. If you got immigrant parents, they just want their kids to get a good education so that their kids can live a better life than then they Leave me a comment down below if you can feel what I'm saying. So after I got into all Spit these universities, area. my parents were over the moon, my G. They felt like they did their jobs. So when I roll up on them and hit them with, so I know y'all spent mad money on all those college applications and sacrificed buying things for yourselves so that I could live a more comfortable life and focus on school. Yeah, you're gonna get work. But, uh... <laughs> All is light. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like, 
Oh my Are god, I see that clip too right recently. Now? Did you get hit in the head with a bat, my G? Cause you sound mad dumb right now, my G. You wanna turn down academic scholarships? To go and play basketball? <laughs> but right when all hope was lost and I thought my hoop dreams were about to be snatched from my head, oh! my dad came in and saved me. He vouched for me. He looked at my mom and was like, hey, listen, I believe in our son. Right. I think he can do anything that he puts his mind to. There we go. If he wants to be the next LeBron James, right. he can do However, after a year of playing basketball at the junior college level, my heart just wasn't in it anymore, and I decided to stop. This was a decision that my parents weren't thrilled about, because I turned down getting into several highly rated universities in Florida just to quit after only a year. It seemed like a waste, you feel me? Yeah. As a result, my dad, who was paying for the apartment that Man, I lived six, in, five, told me that if this was the decision that I was going to make, then I got to pay for myself. I wasn't ready for that. He was like, Hold on, Virgin. Oh, yeah, said to me. After me stick home a good, good neck for you, Chris. After me tell your mother, say, Y'all gonna be the next LeBron GM. I'm the ball is life, you. No, Rasta. You want to make grown man decision? Eh? Yeah. A style, a style, me, you. Ah, uh, breeders. I already didn't enjoy going to school, and I was majoring in computer programming, arguably one of the more demanding majors. The idea of doing that while having to work a full-time job was depressing. Luckily, I had made a friend in my computer science class, and let's call him Q. Q saw the position I was in and asked his moms if it would be okay for me to move in with them, where I would stay in his sister's room, who had just moved to Boston to go to college. This was the same house that the I wasn't ready to be a dad story happened in. This was more clutch Ooh. than Jordan in the fourth, you feel me? Because the rent was so cheap that I wouldn't have to work full time. That way I could manage the workload I was getting from school. But two years after that, I dropped out of school so that I could make animations on YouTube. But by this time, Q's mom saw me as the black son she never had, and I saw Q as my brother. We were family, still are, but Q's mom had a rule. All the kids in the house, white, black, and everything in between, had to go to school. If we didn't, she was going to charge rent. So yet again, I ran into a money problem. And if I thought majoring in computer science and working a 9 to 5 was hard, it was nothing compared to trying to get an animation-based YouTube channel off the ground while working a full-time job. I simply wasn't able to do it at the time. Furthermore, Q's mom had her master's degree in nursing and his dad had a PhD in engineering. So to her, the idea of banking everything on making cartoons for YouTube didn't make sense to her. So I didn't feel like my dreams were being supported in the house, even though it was from a place of love. She just knew that I was a straight A kid when I'm focused and she wanted me to take school seriously just like my own parents and that's where David comes in also a fellow artist and a friend I have made recently he saw the vision of what I was trying to do and his parents were artists as well not by trade but they were artists at heart and their son was an artist as well so they saw what I was trying to do too so yet again by a stroke of good luck I made a friend who offered to allow me to live with him and his family for a rent that was so low it was practically free. So I lived with David and his wonderful family for four months. And it was in that four months where I was in a supportive environment that I was able to focus on my art and believe in myself enough to make my YouTube channel successful. Do you see where I'm going with this? You could reasonably make the argument that if it wasn't for David and his family, the young Don the Sauce Guy YouTube channel wouldn't be what it is today. I mean, it might have never gotten off the ground. That's the guy. That's the guy whose ex-girlfriend I decided to date. And here's what I didn't tell you in the last video. After my YouTube channel blew up, David and I decided that we were going to move to Austin, Texas together with 340 Ori and a couple other friends. And I had the brilliant idea of telling Jane that she could come. This posed a serious that problem was, for David, because David's girlfriend <laughs> wasn't going to be cool with that. So David told me I had to choose. I had to choose between him and my new girlfriend. Who do you think I picked? Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, welcome wow. to my new segment, Instagram Shoutout. Today's winner is Jaden Fura. Hola, isn't, isn't that what Hitler called himself? He needs some milk. That's what have I done? Well, <laughs> let's hit my boy with a quick follow back and check out his page. Turns out you're a photographer. Mm. 
See, I didn't know what to expect. He just left me a really nice comment, so I picked it randomly, and I guess his last name is Fura. Where are the Jews? I want to take their pictures, yeah? That's very photogenic. <laughs> oh, ah, damn, broski, you nice with the camera, man. I like... Hey, uh, I think that's the end of the video, y'all, so I'm gonna just cut it right there. Uh, man, I mean, dude really has a lot of sponsorships, like, up the wazoo. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna cut it right there. Again, like, comment down below what you guys wanna see next. And, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and, yeah. I think my camera's gonna die soon, so, yeah, I gotta wrap this up a little bit. But, sorry if it's not, like, the most edited or best, you know, specked out video I got right now because uh, camera's about to die. And I'm actually short on time today, you guys. But I will be making more reaction videos during the, uh, my spring break. So don't worry about it, you guys. See you soon. Peace out.